Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sadie and I've just woken up. It has just gone 10 past 6 and it is half marathon day. I'm feeling a bit nervous. <laughs> I, so if you don't know, I've already done half marathon um, last year, but basically this time last year. And I did a marathon in October. But it's just one of those things. Race days, I think, will always just make me a bit nervy. Especially this year because I have been pretty ill for the past couple of weeks. And I'm only really just starting to get over it. So, yeah, it's a bit a bit of a different one. Um, I hope I'm going to be okay. I'm, I mean, I know I'm going to be okay to finish it. But my idea this year was to get a sub two hour PB. So, we'll see. <laughs> I really, really hope it happens. But we will just have to see how things work out with that. But I'm just going to get ready now. I just need to basically put my hair up, do my skincare, and get dressed. So, I'm just getting my breakfast now. Um, I've just, as you can see, popped some oats into the microwave have them with some um, salted caramel protein powder and as a normal breakfast I would do this with a banana but I'm going to save the banana for later um, and basically just have it like pre-race um, so obviously it's 6.45 right now ish um, so yeah I obviously I'm going to be racing at 9 um, so I want to have like a little like a tiny bit of food a bit closer to the race so that's the plan for the moment i am also going to be having some cough medicine which i have been having for the past week plus um so i kind of yeah i've used up like half the bottle but hopefully this will yeah help me not cough so much today and really quickly get over it a week later um it's now friday so five days later to be exact and i just wanted to give you a quick rundown obviously as part of this video as to exactly how everything went because i know it can look very different when i'm just filming clips of me running obviously i'm not able to talk during the race but yeah it was first of all so so much harder than i thought it was going to be I didn't really think about how hilly the area is. Just didn't, <laughs> just didn't come into my mind at all. Um, and it was only probably about half an hour before the race actually started. I looked at the map and 
saw that I had to run up, it's called North Hill in Colchester if you know it, and it's notorious for being such a steep hill. So yeah, that would definitely, um, I was definitely a little bit of a shock. <laughs> and pretty much most of the course was uphill. Um, obviously that was kind of the big one, literally went like that, but everything else was kind of a bit more like that, I'd say. Um, but yeah, obviously there were flat points and stuff, but in general, I was not expecting it. And it definitely took me by surprise. Um, I was, I think I mentioned it, expecting to get a PB on this course, um, at least hoping that I would. And you also got to bear in mind that I was ill for two weeks beforehand as well. And yeah, even with just that, I didn't think I was gonna get my PB. And yeah, obviously I didn't. <laughs> Um, but especially with it being a really hilly course, probably about 6k in is when the, the doubts started to creep in. Um, so very early on, to be honest. And yeah, I just remember feeling super, super weak and honestly, like I couldn't do it. Um, obviously I pushed through and got it done. I did my best. Um, I did stop a few times, but that was just at the water stations to drink some water. Um, I kind of used it as an excuse to have a little like 10 second walk. And when I was taking my gels as well, um, again, just as an excuse. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely needed to. Um, it was one of those ones where I just, I couldn't keep going the whole time. Also, to add to the whole thing, it was raining literally the whole time, which, you know, in a normal race, fine, can deal with it, but it just, on top of being ill, still kind of ill, um, and the hills, and how hard it was, and then the rain, <laughs> it definitely did not go the way I planned, and yeah, as I said, obviously I was hoping to get a PB in it, and I didn't, and it wasn't the right course for it, it wasn't the right day for it, but it's one of those things. This is also a really good learning opportunity for me, I think, where I have set out to accomplish a goal and I haven't done it, and obviously that's happened before, but it's I don't think it's happened in at least quite a while where I have trained specifically for eight weeks to be able to achieve that goal and then I didn't achieve it. Obviously it does kind of suck a bit um, but I am making sure that that is not my only opportunity this year to accomplish that goal. When setting that goal I had it in mind that I would do it at some point in the year so I've still got time. It's only March. It's nearing the end of March now but I've got loads of time. So I know obviously I'm talking about potentially reaching my half marathon goal later on in the year, but I have also been thinking recently about a bigger race that I wanna do later on in the year as well. So my initial plan was to do a marathon in like October sort of time, like I did last year, but I've come to realize that the only marathon in my area is the one that I did last year. So. I don't particularly want to do the exact same thing again. So I've been doing some research. I am also part of a Facebook group called Essex Runners and I put a little message in there and said, you know, I'm looking for a marathon around September, October sort of time. Does anyone know of anything? And a few people came back with um, some other races. Somebody mentioned that the chance of marathon is the only one um, the only actual marathon, but somebody came back with the, I think it's called Stort 30, and it's in Bishop Stortford, and it is a 30 mile race, so that is 48 kilometres, obviously it's kind of around, yeah, about 6k over a marathon, but anything that is over a marathon is technically classed as an ultra marathon so it doesn't have to be 50k it can literally be even 43k so 
currently that is what i'm thinking it's not booked yet but yeah it's a little bit of a trail race um so i'm gonna need to do some research get some trail shoes and yeah but i'm very very excited for that i'm pretty sure that's what i'm gonna do um otherwise it would just be doing the same marathon that i did last year or doing another half marathon which i want to push myself more than that you know so i'm pretty sure that's the plan but if anybody has any kind of tips on trail shoes at all because that's something i don't really know much about um i'm gonna see if i can also fit in some trail running as well and try to yeah run about the fields which will be very different for me but yeah that is pretty much it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed following me along on my half marathon journey and i hope you're looking forward to me doing the store 30. i'm i feel like now i've said it in this video i've got to do it <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video give a thumbs up comment down below any other videos you want to see from me or any trail shoes that you recommend and i'll see you in the next one